What up guys, welcome to episode three of the Get Lean series where me and Gio are in competition on who loses the most body fat percentage over a 12 week period. Where the loser has to do an embarrassing act. So I'm not gonna lose. And last week, you saw us train our butts off, but we all know that abs are made in the kitchen, which is why diet and nutrition is such a huge component of getting lean. So today I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the secret foods that I have to hit my macro nutrition goals. Shout out to JP who was coaching both of us on our diet, and Gio will show you some of her go-to foods to make sure she stays on track. But we're not gonna show each other because that defeats the whole purpose. One of my favorite go-to snacks is quesadillas, especially if you can find a low-fat or fat-free cheese. You can get high protein, keep the fats low, and when you put on some hot sauce like Cholula or Tapatio and you cut pieces of ham, you can actually get a pretty high-protein snack that tastes relatively good and you can eat it over and over again. Also, it's something you can whip up in literally like five to 10 minutes, so it's an easy go-to snack. Tuna is one of my other favorite go-to proteins because you can find tuna with super low fats and it's very versatile. You can make sandwiches, you can make a little salad, and you can get like jalapenos, chop it up, throw it in there, find a fat-free mayo, throw it in there, mix it up, and it's still really good. And once again, it's quick and easy because uh, with food and snacks, what you want is you want to have a lower hurdle so it doesn't seem like such a chore to get to. You know, like when, you're, when, you, when you feel hungry, you want something that's like, boom, in five minutes, I can put it in my mouth. So this bad boy, three servings per container. So if I eat this whole thing, that's 57 grams of protein, 57 with only three grams of fat. That's hella good. So I'll get probably four of these bad boys. To pack extra protein in my quesadillas, I love using ham. It's a very lean meat. It has a four to one protein to fat ratio. So if I get the right cheese and I put it with the ham and the tortilla, I can easily make like a 30 to 40 grams of protein snack with under 10 grams of fat. So I gotta look for that uh, non-fat cheese. Sometimes they have it. If they don't, I'll go with the low-fat version. I have a crazy sweet tooth, right? Like I always fiend for ice cream and that's almost impossible with the macros that I have. So I have, uh, at least my starting macros, is 230 grams of protein, 230 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat. So I really gotta keep that fat low. So anything that I can find that is non-fat is extremely helpful. So being able to get like a Greek yogurt, zero grams of fat, but nine grams of protein is gonna be extremely helpful. So something like this, I could just throw some honey on there, uh, maybe some fruits, and that will help satisfy my sweet tooth at least a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about, man. So a lot of people don't know this, but sometimes when you look through like the dino nuggets or chicken strips aisle, you'll find like some really good kept secrets where it's literally a two to one ratio. So this one has 12 grams of protein with six grams of fat. And it's surprising because you're like, wait, isn't it breaded and fried? I don't know how they do it. I just believe in the science. So um, back when I was in LA, the uh, Albertsons I would go to, they had the Dino Nuggets version. Um, not, the, not like the brand, but like the, you know the supermarket will have their own version? It was a supermarket version. I checked these guys out and it's a one to one ratio. That will kill me. This is two to one, so that's awesome. You do this with like a fat-free dressing, like a ketchup or something, and good to go. So I found a light mayo, but I'm trying to see if I could do better and find a non-fat one, um, but it seems pretty hard to find at this supermarket for some reason. Uh, I couldn't find a fat-free or non-fat mayo, so I'm gonna just go with this one, which is still not too bad, because if I put this in here, a one tablespoon, the total fat will be 4.5 grams of fat, 
and then the total protein will be 57 grams of protein. So that's still a very high protein to fat ratio, which will help uh, me hit my macros. Quick tip, jalapenos isn't just good for this specific meal, to any other meal that you would like to add a little bit more flavor with zero grams of fat, you can add jalapenos to that too. My little sweet tooth snack is just some Greek yogurt, some low calorie blueberries, some honey, and that's a fat free snack. And if I get uh, two servings here, that puts me at 18 grams of protein with zero grams of fat. So this specific supermarket didn't have a fat-free cheese, but we did go on the craft site and they do make a fat-free cheese as well as a fat-free mayo. So what I'm gonna do instead is, instead of making the cheese quesadilla, what'll still be good is if I just grill a couple pieces of ham, cut it up, and then I get like a couple tablespoons of the Greek yogurt, put it on the quesadilla, put that on there, cut up some jalapenos, roll it up, and it'll still be like a really nice wrap that's still high in protein, low in fat. So a lot of times you just gotta be flexible because even the places that you can count on, they may not carry it or it's completely gone. So every time you go to the supermarket, you're just trying to make the best of what you have. But now that I know that, uh, I might visit another supermarket some other time and hopefully I'll find the fat-free cheese and the fat-free meal I'm looking for. But other than that, this is my secret meal. I got my little tuna salad action. I got my cheeseless quesadilla. I got my sweet tooth fix and I have my favorite childhood chicken strips. Let's see what Gio gets. Okay, so now it's my turn. Uh, for these 12 weeks, I'm gonna be working with 1,700 calories, at least that's what I'm starting with now, uh, with 107 grams of protein, uh, 165 grams of carbs, and 40 grams of fat. So for me, these are pretty average macros. Um, I don't really foresee myself having a hard time hitting this stuff. The only thing that I always have the biggest challenge when it comes to hitting these things um, is specifically the protein. I don't consume enough protein. So my list is really gonna consist of things that are high protein for me to really help me nail down, you guessed it, the protein. All right, so since we're in the pasta aisle, I do get this specific pasta and I do highly recommend that you get it yourself. Uh, so I will pair it with a very lean beef or like gr uh, ground beef or ground turkey. But this, this right here, you can't go wrong with any of these. Any type of protein pasta, like you can see here that they make it just on an alternative pasta, usually tastes pretty cardboardy. And then like um, when you try to bite into it, it's just kind of chalky. It's really nasty. This right here, you can't really tell the difference. Unless you're like a pasta connoisseur, you might be like, oh, it tastes a little bit different. But if you're trying to hit protein, look at that. 20 grams of protein. Uh, eight grams of fiber, um, three grams of fat. So right here it says 11 protein, three grams of fat. I do look for that two to one ratio. I do want to double the protein that I get from fat. So that's usually my go-to. So this for sure I'm gonna get. I do get some penne. Um, I like this too. And then a sauce, you can't really go wrong with any of these sauces. Um, I do prefer, let's see this one, like one to two, that's not bad. 1.5 to two, I probably won't get that. Oh, here we go, this one has zero. Zero to two, boom. So I'll throw that in there. I also really do enjoy snacking. I think that's what's really gonna screw me over is I don't eat a lot when I sit down for a meal, but I do like a lot of snacks. So one of my favorite go-to snacks is pretzels and beef jerky. It's simple, you can take it on the go, you don't really have to worry about it. Like if you're living a busy lifestyle, like you just throw it in your purse, in your backpack, or whatever, you can just kind of graze as you go throughout the day. So let's get that. So this is one of my favorite ones to get. They're minis, they're small, so you can control it better. Um, so they're talking about 19 pretzels, if you want to get really specific, 0.5 fat, and then three grams of protein. Pair that with the beef jerky. Let's see. Aha! Let me see this one. Like this one, right? We can go with sweet and hot. It's 1.5 grams of fat, nine grams of protein. So just pairing these two together, you have about two grams of fat and about 12 grams of protein just by consuming this. Boom!
All right, so these are rad. What you want to look for is you want it to be as lean as possible. So something like this is going to be 95% uh, fat free. So that's how lean it'll be. If you look back here, six grams of fat, 23 grams of protein. There's also a 96, which is just 4% fat, which is also really good. So, oh, it's kind of the same ratio. Yeah. So opt for these for sure. This can go paired with your pasta and your spaghetti. Um, I also like to make this, this uh, dish uh, created by Stan Efferding, shout outs to him. Um, it's called Monster Mash. So essentially it's ground beef, veggies, rice, and then you can add like a beef broth, like bone, beef bone broth into it. Really lean, low in fats, high in protein, and then it's moderate. I mean, you can consume how many carbs you want to. You can take out the rice if you want to. So it's, you can really customize it to whatever your macros might be. So I like that. Speaking about Monster Mash, I also like to add or buy this specific set of uh, vegetables because I feel like it's the easiest to throw in when I'm making like my pot of rice in like a rice maker. Um, I'll get the veggies and put it in there and it all make, mixes up and I make it all together. So let me show you the veggies. So there is a specific medley of veggies that I like to get just because I've tried it, I trust it, I know the flavor is going to be really good, um, but I can't find it here. But honestly, any medley of veggies, you can't go wrong. So this, right? Two grams of protein, zero fat, 11 carb. I mean, you really can't go wrong, like any of these. Just make sure that your fat is slow, which is going to always be low because it's veggies. Um, I honestly wasn't even expecting it to have protein, but I guess this has protein, so even better for me. So I'll put this together with my ground beef, season it a little bit, depending on what the goal is. If you're trying to like lower your, your sodium or whatever, for whatever reason, you can uh, uh, season it less. But yeah, add whatever seasoning you want. I tend to put mustard on it. Um, I love ketchup, but ketchup does have carbs. So mustard is way leaner. I feel like he's just trying to see what I'm buying, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that'll be one meal on its own. So another thing I do to ensure that I'm gonna hit my proteins, I will pair milk. So I like to opt for Fairlife. This is actually not the one I go to because I like to get fat-free. It looks like this, but they don't have it here. It's a blue bottle. It's fat-free and let me read the contents to you because it is the shit. So I pair with our Bar Bar Brigade protein. Um, the milk itself, wait, is this one it? Oh, fat free, okay. Why is there fat if it's fat free? <laughs> it says 4.5 grams of fat, even though it says it's fat free. Um, but it has 13 grams of protein, which is dope. Let me see if these other ones have it. This particular one has five grams of fat and eight grams of protein, which still does not beat the 4.5 grams of fat and 13 grams of protein for the fair life. So if you drink a protein shake with that, that could be anywhere around like 40 grams, 30 grams of protein that you're just taking just without doing any effort. And like I said, it's so hard for me to hit these damn proteins. So that's why everything is high in protein for me. So here's another one of my snacks that I really thoroughly enjoy. I get Chobani. Greek yogurt, non-fat, plain, because it's zero fat, and boom, 15 grams of protein, which is so dope. Six grams um, of carbs, which is all right. Um, I will pair this with some honey. Um, if I have room in my macros, I do get uh, low-fat granola, or reduced-fat granola, which I didn't even know existed. We'll grab that in a minute, and some fruit, so let's go. So this one says it's high in protein, but don't trust the marketing. Cause sometimes they're like, yeah, it's high in protein, but then the fat is gnarly. This is not one of those, but it's still a two to one ratio. The fat is seven grams for a two thirds cup and 13 grams of protein. So that's not too bad. So I do this and then I add some low sugar fruit. So let me show you. All right, so I like to opt for some strawberries and some blueberries. But when you buy the blueberries, make sure to look at the bottom ones because these tend to get like 
moldy really, really fast. And if they sit there, I don't know what happens that they're just like, I'm sure there's a scientific process, but yeah, if you don't check the bottom, they're like smashing it and then it gets moldy. So look for the bottom also on this. Make sure they all look really pretty. Whenever I'm craving anything chippy related, I go for these boys right here. Zero fat, 26 carb, four protein. So again, if I have, uh, if I can afford the carbs, I will do this. But the protein, boom, baby. I will pair this with some smoked turkey. And let me show you the specific brand that I love getting. I pair it with some smoked turkey. Okay, so I normally like to get it from the deli because it just tastes uh, a lot fresher. Um, but the only thing is I can't really put it into my fitness pub, which is what I'm gonna use to track my macros. So I need something that has a barcode so that I can properly track everything since it's measured. Um, so I do opt for boar's head honey smoked turkey because it does have like a smoky flavor. It is slightly sweet, so it gives it more flavor because turkey can be really bland. Um, we're looking at one gram of fat, um, one carb and 12 grams of protein. Opt for this. If you're ever dieting, you have to, have to, have to, have to always have this in your pantry. Protein chips by Quest. It's the best. I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but um, 4.5 grams of fat, four carbs, dude, and 20 grams of protein. This flavor is fire. This flavor is cool if you like ranch. And honestly, don't try to compare it to actual chips because obviously there's a ton of shit and fat and stuff in there that makes them extra delicious. But for being on a diet and being able to eat chips, um, this is it. This one is fire too. If you like something extra cheesy, boom, this. So I'm not a big soda drinker, but whenever I do have the craving, I don't usually up for a Coke. I don't really like it that much, but these right here, ginger ale and 7-Up are my favorite. Uh, specifically because they don't have that weird um, artificial sugar, even though this is artificial sugar, uh, aftertaste, you know what I'm talking about? Like that weird after flavor in your mouth, these don't have it. And they're smaller sizes, so you could definitely regulate it. Like you can get your little fix on without going overboard. It's zero fat, um, zero carbs, and zero protein. So this is just pure indulgence. Same with this, zero fat, zero carb, zero protein. But it's so good. All right, so these are my go-to when I'm starting to diet, just to make sure my cravings don't get out of hand, my grazing self is regulated, and I hit my proteins. This is a surefire way for me to do it. In addition, I do get meal preps. Um, I don't have the time to cook all the time. Plus with meal preps, everything's already measured out. It's convenient, so that with this, I know I'm gonna smash for. Oh, what do we have here? Dang, you can tell who the grazer is here, huh? Like That's you for have the family? Uh, sure. <laughs> um, so what do you got? Okay, so Quest chips, because you can't go wrong, right? You really can't go wrong. So we got some Quest chips. We got some of my favorite drinks here, because everything's zero. Yeah. Um, I got some alternative chips. I think I like chips a lot. What the hell? Uh, I got some protein pasta. Oh. I got some veggie tables. Dude, you never eat fucking vegetables. I bet you don't have any fucking vegetables. I don't need to. I have our meal preps. This guy hates vegetables. I love vegetables. He'll eat a hamburger. He's like, I eat vegetables. There's exactly. salad in there. French um, fries. Super lean ground beef. I always, always, always have to have this. I got my smoked turkey because oh, yeah, it's so good. bomb. Oh, I thought you would get smoked salmon too. That's really good. Salmon, isn't it high in fat? No. Salmon? I mean, it's, it's a fattier fish, but in terms of all the meats, it's not too bad. Oh, uh, well, I don't even want to play with it. It's only a gram of fat. That's really good. Um, I got some fruits for my famous Greek yogurt concoction yeah. with my protein granola and honey. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. I got something similar for my sweet tooth. I just have my Greek yogurt, got some blueberries, throw some honey on there. Um, I was walking around after we did the shopping and I saw some uh, shrimp cocktail. Mm. These are super high in protein, super low in fat. Um, I believe it's under like one gram of fat um, per like serving, so it's Whoa. super low. And I also found a fat-free ranch. Anytime you just need extra seasoning or if things are too dry, put it all over. You're a flavor dude. Huh? I am. So I got my tuna, 
um, with the jalapenos, Ooh, a little tuna shit. salad action, and then. Um, Would you add this in there? Would that taste good? I, I actually was gonna try it, and then I was looking for a fat-free cheese. Couldn't find one, but I did find the uh, low-fat mozzarella. Have you had it before? I know. Um, I have, and it tastes exactly the same. Oh really? Yeah. So I was just gonna take this, and I would just cut it in pieces, and I could still make my quesadilla. So if you ever want some quesadillas at home, I'm some down. Quesadillas. I'm down. Got tuna salad. Um, Nadim threw a bunch of random bagels in there. Those aren't mine. And then you could also have some of my crispy chicken strips, especially since we have an air fryer air now. Air fryer, dude. You eat that with ketchup, that's and life. ketchup is zero Changing. zero grams of fat. Yep. And uh, that's about it. My macros are pretty um, tough to stick to. What are they? So 230 grams of uh, protein, 230 grams of carbs, but only 50 grams of fat. So what's going to be really helpful is the Barbell Brigade protein because it's zero grams of fat. Yeah. So I'll definitely be taking at least two scoops every single day. That'll help out with that and everything else. If I, as long as I stick to a two to one ratio, three to one, four to one ratio, um, majority on the three and the four to one ratio protein and fats, that'll really help out. Sounds like you know a lot. Um, so honestly, if I'm kind of questioning my decisions when it comes to food consumption, I'm just gonna look at what you're eating. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna copy that, dude. The stuff that she got that I like is just the mom brain. You know, like you, when you shop, it really feels like you're shopping for like bunch of my friends are gonna go on a diet with me you know like, let's get chips I'm together. my friends I'm the only let's person get drinks, get a bunch of fruits for me I think I'm like this is mine this is mine you know so it has a different feeling so like a lot of the stuff that you got I was even thinking about chips but this definitely makes your life happier especially when you're having meal preps if you eat the same meal prep every single day it does get tiring so being able to just like have something on the side it just you know changes it up a little bit the uh, the pretzels and the jerky is great little snack too, especially with some really ice cold mm. ginger ale. That just sounds like a fun time. Like a lot of it, I think for you, it feels like, okay, this is gonna be a fun time. For mine, it's more of like a means to an end. Yeah. You know, like I'm hungry, what do I do? Oh, I'll make a quick quesadilla. Uh, but it's not like chips, like it's more yeah. enjoyment. You know? Yeah, you can totally see our styles, right? Because for me, it's also hard for me to hit protein. So I had to like opt for high protein, everything. It's not pictured here because Unfortunately, this store doesn't have it, but I even have um, Fairlife milk because it's also mm. high in protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so pairing that, like I was saying, with our protein is gonna like m help me so much and so quickly to like hit that part of it. So yours has, um, like you said, it's straightforward, like the chicken strips, the shrimp. I'm like, oh shit, yeah. I didn't really pair um, actual dishes. Like I'm not creating dishes in my brain outside of the Monster Mash that I have. Whereas you, it feels like you're putting dishes together and you're like opting for like more uh, uh, flavor where I'm not really looking at the flavor as much as I am like the snack part of it. Oh, and yeah. one also big thing I think that's a big difference between us two is I'm looking for satiety. Mm. Where I have a huge appetite so I can't actually just have snacks. Like a bag of chips will do literally nothing. Like I need something like if you feel that's this, huge. right? You're going to feel this. Yeah. I eat this, it's sitting in my stomach. I, I won't have my crazy impulses, whereas like stuff like jerky or whatever. It, oh, it just, it just opens like, up your appetite? Just little snacks. Yeah. And yeah, I hit the numbers, but I'm not satiated at all. So I need like like something that's got some weight, and then it hits my stomach, and I'm yeah. like, all right, cool. I'm surprised you didn't get oatmeal in, because that's oh. super. Yeah, but I don't have that much carbs. I'm going to have 230 grams of carbs. For me, it's like I can eat carbs all day, you know. Got it. So here are some of the foods that we like when we're on a diet. It's our go-to fixes that helps us hit our macros, stay on track, stay keeping the protein high and the fats low. Let us know in the comments below if you have any secrets so we can all share because I know when we're all trying to get lean together. Yeah, anything helps. Anything helps. Whatever your secret is. Like even like the old school Matt Ogus buying a Chipotle burrito, unwrapping it, stuffing it full of veggies helps keep him full. Tips like that helps everyone. So let us know in the comments below. And once again, always, who do you think is in the lead? Team Geo or Team Bark?